In today's Rainbow Six Siege video, I will be going over the Rook in Rainbow Six Siege. Rook is a heavy defensive operator who carries armor packs to support his allies in battle. Today, we will take a look at Rook's weaponry, gadgets, and I will also show you guys gameplay to help you understand Rook in Rainbow Six Siege. So going over Rook, we are going to be really talking about his gadgets and weaponry and just go over the general kit pretty much. So the first weapon we got is the P90. This is a high capacity submachine gun that uses high velocity ammunition. It's best in close quarters. So you can use the P90 for close quarters combat if you're really close to your opponent. The damage for it is 22 and the fire rate is 970. The mobility for it is 50 and the capacity for it is 50. So it's a pretty good weapon if you want to just take uh, for close quarters combat that is. The next weapon we have is the MP5. This one is used a lot. It's a short to medium range cell machine gun. It has high rate of fire and mobility. It's favored by the GIG. Everyone runs the MP5 with Rook or with Doc or with anyone like that has the MP5 like Maluzi, Doc. And it's a pretty good weapon too. The damage for it is 27 and the fire rate for it is 800 and on mobility is 50 and the capacity for it is 30. And this weapon, it is more stable than the than the P90, but it's still a good weapon if you just want to take it. And it also has a 1.5 to it as well, so you can definitely just run this because the 1.5 is meta. All right, the next one we got is the shotgun. This is the SG CQB. It's a compact pump action 12 gauge shotgun with close range stopping power, favored by the GIGN. Uh, it's not too bad to run this shotgun if you want to be shotgun rook you can <laughs> i mean it's not it's not bad because shotguns they got buffed the damage for it is 44 and the fire rate it has no fire rate and the mobility for it is 50 and the capacity for it is seven so you want to use these seven rounds wisely whenever you're taking shotguns so just be careful just try to line your shots up as best you can when using shotguns okay time for the secondary weapons the first one we have is the lfp 586 this 0.357 magnum revolver short to medium range handgun with high stopping power and penetration i see some rooks will take this i mean it's not that bad of a revolver it's like it's more of a western kind of revolver if you look at it correctly this weapon eh, i don't really take it as much i take the p9 because i'm more safe with this one and the reload for it is a bit faster than this one the damage for it is 78 the fire rate no fire rate whatsoever the mobility is 45 and the capacity for it is six rounds so if you're trying to take down somebody you have to land these six rounds or land one of them or two of them to be honest to kill the second one we have is the p9 this is a nine millimeter handgun favored by the gign short to medium range and it has 16 round magazine this is really what i would take i mean Again, it's my personal preference on what I think is better for me. I would take the P9, just for me. Now, for anyone that is watching this video, if you want to take the LFP, you can. You're just going to be losing out on just the reload timing. You have to hide to reload your stuff. With the P9, you can just reload automatically and just, well, get back into the fight with it. The damage for this is 45, and the fire rate, no fire rate whatsoever, and the mobility, the mobility for it is 45, and the capacity is 16. So this is a pretty good handgun to be safe with if you want to take this with Rook. Okay, and for gadgets, the first one we have is the proximity alarm. This here is a sensor that triggers an alarm when enemies are within the direct range. So it, it triggers an alarm when enemies are like under it or near it. And the next one we have is the impact grenade. Uh, this here grenade that explodes on impact. This, I would take this for just making rotations in, within the bomb site. And for this gadget, we have the observation blocker. Okay, so with the observation blocker, it basically projects a screen that blocks the line of sight of opponent's observation tools, which is the drones. So it'll block the sight of the drones. So for Rook's main unique ability, we have the armor pack. You drop a supply bag full of armor plates for his team to use. This is like a shield in a way to help your teammates uh, feel more defensive. That's pretty much what it is. It makes it helps with the defense of your teammate to help with like the health. I don't know if it gain if you gain a little bit of health with the armor pack on. I'm not too sure on that one. But I do know if you do get downed by an enemy, like an attacker and all, you will have the ability to revive yourself with this. So this is pretty good. It's a pretty good thing to take Rook in for defense because you'll be able to revive yourself a little bit if you're down. If any of your teammates don't have the armor pack, just lay it on the table and let them get it just so that they'll be safe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on this site. I think this is Oregon, yes. Um, we're in the top portion of Oregon, and right now I'm just roaming around. I was thinking I was thinking about going to uh, reinforce, but all you gotta do with Rook is to place your armor pack down somewhere, really. Now, if there was a Twitch drone on the enemy team, then yeah, that would've been a different story, and we would've lost the armor instantly. <laughs> but 
uh, to be fairly honest, if there was a table in there, then you just want to put the Rook armor on top of the table. That way, Rook, that way Twitch doesn't shoot it down. But I think they could still shoot it down either way. But uh, if you had a table and all, then yeah, you could just place it there. But as you can see, many of my teammates have already gotten their armor. I also pinged it, pinged it out towards everyone or to everybody in sight. That way they get their armor and they just feel safe and I support them as best I can. So in this game here, I was peeking right there later on. You'll know later on in the video that this game was just very intense. It was a very intense matchup because there was a thermite that was ruining all of us and I had to watch myself below because uh, I don't want anyone flaking down there to kill me. <laughs> so I'm just staying in the back trying to just peek right here. And also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you will have Amaru come from an, a hatch and all. She's roaming downstairs right at this minute and she will come through a hatch, the hatch behind me, later on in video or in this clip and i'm not gonna lie y'all it scared the crap out of me but so right now i'm just holding this angle just trying to just watch for everything be careful just wait just wait and be patient that's all it is when it comes to playing as the defender and you see here the amaru is right here and yes i messed my shots up but she did go down that way and i threw my impact grenade i don't know why i threw it that was just a dumb idea on my part to just throw that it was really dumb. I don't know why I threw my impact grenade like that. It wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> so yeah, Lion is already trying to scan for us. So I'm just going to stay back here in the corner. That way I don't get sniped out of nowhere. <laughs> I, I was scared. I was scared this entire match, bro, because I don't know what's going to happen. You just don't know what's going to happen next. And I was just I was just scared. So it's 4-2 to two right now. And you see here, Thermite is over there. Thermite is right there, and I kill him instantly. Thermite is dead, and last one is i would have to think I, I don't know who the last one i don't remember who the last one was but we did kill them we end up getting the win on this one you want to just help your allies out as best you can to support them as best you can too because if they're down they can revive themselves and you can also just help them out by just placing your armor packs down just be a team player that's what it is all right ladies and gentlemen so here we are in another match now with rook i decided to put my armor place on top of the table here as you see that's another kind of thing you can do with rook to avoid other uh, twitch drones or drones that will destroy it well th yeah just twitch drones in general because <laughs> i don't think brava can destroy uh the armor pack i don't know i'm not sure and after that i went ahead and just gone ahead and just reinforced that's what i did i just wanted to reinforce i know i was running around a little bit because i was just trying to find a place to reinforce the walls and i know it's a bit staticky so i apologize just the recording has been a bit off lately and plus i have a lot of recording backed up on my uh 4k was my uh hard drive no. well i wouldn't say hard drive it's more of a, a couch car my bad <laughs> i have it stored up in my couch car so yeah but and besides that uh in this match here uh we i'm reinforcing right now and i also was trying to find a place to peek so i could try to peek the enemy and also um get a kill if i can it was hard play it was hard places to, to try and find an angle to peek and just hold because a lot of people were holding different angles that i could just hold and yeah i just i just couldn't do it just can't do it man so i was just trying to find good angles trying to find really good angles but the more important tip of the video of this like clip here is where I place my armor pack. I place it on the table right there and I also call it out for people to come and get it and they went and got it. So that's good. Uh, well, there's one one more left. I don't know if someone didn't get it. I'm not sure. I think it was Kavira who didn't get it. But yeah, right here. I'm just trying to hold this angle. But I do hear a fuse upstairs. Yes, there is a fuse. A fuse was upstairs and he was going to get it. He was going to try and get us. And there was also, I forgot the new character's name again. I, I just been, I haven't been playing Siege as much <laughs> lately. I've been too busy with other stuff. But uh, the new character, she's upstairs as well. And she's using her gadget uh, to make noise. And that there is causing a distress amongst the uh, entire team. And also Osa is in the objective right now. So this Osa, she was getting a bit clever here. And she did get a little, little shot on me she didn't get the full kill on me though so i was like okay you know what also i got you i'm gonna just hold this right above you peek out please peek please peek that's what you get <laughs> yeah that's how you beat an osa ladies and gentlemen if you're new you don't know how to beat osa that's how you beat them you just hold your sight above their shield and you just wait for them to peek their head out once they peek their head bam you just get them just killed him like that but alibi did get killed right here and it was by the new character which i forgot again please let me know, know in the comments again who the new character is i forgot but i did kill her and then we got the win right here because of echo here killing i think that's Sophia. yes it was Sophia. yeah i think it was Sophia. yes it was it was Sophia. and we killed her and we got the w and your boy 
it's up here at number one all right ladies and gentlemen here we are on another map and this is another clip here of me playing with cat with rook now this is what i made the big mistake with and that was reinforcing before placing my armor packs down don't do that place your armor packs down before you reinforce because if you just if you don't place your armor packs down before you reinforce your teammates are not going to have any armor you are that's, that's it okay like your teammates they're not going to have any armor and my teammates they never grabbed the armor because they were all spread out and roaming some of them were roaming some of them were anchoring and one of them was afk that was the doc but i did ping it out to them like hey go get your armor bro go get your armor dog come get it buddy come get your armor like nah nah they're not gonna come and get the armor okay it, they're, they're not gonna get it they ain't gonna get it it's like bro I waste I'm wasting my time here trying to give y'all armor and this is what I get okay <laughs> I'm just messing but also here since uh, Ace is upstairs and he's I don't know why he's throwing his aces right here I, I don't know if he's trying to do a distraction or something I, I don't know but he's upstairs right now I hear him and our echo is down so well he killed and Cap can is down he stays down for almost the entire time in this round or in this match to be honest and there goes a drone right there so that means that someone is over there and i'm just gonna sit right here for a minute but then like no let me go let me go ahead and peek let me go and peek see who's there and it is ace right there and i kill ace ace is dead and that was like a little kill assist for someone else who uh got on recently now kavira goes down by zero zero is the last one and let me just tell y'all this zero got lucky because the cap cam was down okay if cap cam wasn't down then maybe we would have had a chance but i, I didn't want to push up there because i knew the zero was peaking there so zero is gonna go ahead and probably kill doc or he will kill doc, kill doc. yes i knew it right there he kills doc right there and cap cam is down is me left i'm the only one that can save this i can like, save this match i got it i got it now, I did leave that one angle just to go over there, just, just to scope it out and see, because I just, I didn't know, bro. I was nervous right here, y'all. I was very nervous, because I didn't know what was going to happen, bro. And I, I don't know if my teammates are on the cameras or whatnot. I, I was just very nervous, very nervous and very scared, because I didn't know what the heck was going to happen. And I, I was just, just trying to wait. But then my teammates, they did get on the cameras, and they were pinging him. They were pinging him everywhere. He was across the hall over there, or not... Well, not like where I'm looking, but on the right side. He's he's over there, over there somewhere. Uh, I I just don't know. I just I just sit here and I just wait. I just wait it out. That's, that's all I do. I try to wait it out and I try to get a little little snip of what's going on. And then there he is, pops in. Get that clean pop on him. And this was just too clean. Just look at this. Look at that man. That was perfect right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So with Rook in Rainbow Six Siege, he is a really good operator on defense. His armor pack helps your allies out tremendously. It'll help them get revived if they're down. Uh, all they gotta do is just hold X and they'll be able to get revived easily. And Rook right now is a pretty good pick. I think he's meta. I'm not too sure he's more in the support class. So he, he's pretty good. Now cons wise, I would say that the only thing that's holding Rook back well, it's mainly his speed. He's more of just an anchor kind of character. A lot of people don't like roaming with him sometimes because you can't get away as much. Now, there are some good, there are some good people who will roam with Rook, but I'm more of an anchor kind of person. Now, a lot of people like to roam with him. That's on, that's on their own volition, but I feel like being anchor or just playing anchor with Rook is the best way to go when playing with him in Raymond Six Siege. And also, the enemies can also get your armor pack, and some people that troll will take down the armor pack as well so you got to watch out for that so whenever people try to just uh delete your entire unique <laughs> armor pack <laughs> that you drop down for people yeah you, you would honestly tk there's some people that would tk honestly just for that because hey bro you're over here trolling and you're t you took out the armor pack that we needed like what in the world bro there's some people that would do that and it's just messed up really but overall just have fun playing with rook and leave your own feedback about rook in the comments down below and that is going to bring us to the end of this video, honestly, guys. I hope you guys made it through this video and you enjoyed today's guide. Also, uh, real quick, uh, if you guys want to become a Raptor Pet member today, you can become a Raptor Pet member for $3. And what I, what it offers is that you, I'll be able to shout you guys out. Uh, I'll be able to reply to your comments first. And I will also show, show sneak peeks of little snippets of videos that I will have planned for later on and all. 
like future videos that I have planned on to post on this channel. Make sure you guys come come on Red Pet member today. Leave your comments down below on what you thought about Rook. And as always, like the video too. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Peace out.